In this video for Nucoda 2012.1, we're going to have a look at the S3D Color and Align tool. So we have some clips on the timeline. The one in front of me, you can clearly see, is um, been shot on a mirror rig, and there's quite a difference between the two eyes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my S3D Color and Align tool, which appears first in my list over here. This tool is always applied as an input effects tool. The tool is applied to both clips simultaneously because I am in group grading mode. You'll notice the change in the screen. This is the tool applying the correction for the color, the geometry and the zooming. The only thing that remains for me to do is set the uh, flip for the right eye and I'm going to set that to flip right and I'm going to store a note because I have another clip that has the same setup. Back to my timeline, go to my next clip. You can see once again switching between left and right. All I'm going to do is to select my note and recall it to this clip and you'll see that the left and the right eyes have been aligned, have been color balanced and they have been put the right way around. Now to show you the individual options on the tool I'm going to use the third clip over here and I'm just going to apply the tool with all the options turned off. So once again the clip is applied as an input effect to both clips and when I go to the effect itself you'll see that on the left hand side I have modes for viewing I have a color match setting, an alignment setting, and a border setting, and a blanking setting. So on the left hand side, I can switch this to side by side, so I can easily view uh, the left and the right eye. So in this case, I know that I'm going to do a mirror so that my images line up. I'm going to turn on my global color match, which will match the color between the two. And at this point, I can choose whether I want to bias the color towards the left or towards the right. I'm going to go to the alignment method over here. I have a couple of options for manual alignment. I'm going to choose the automatic alignment. I'm then going to go to my borders and set that to zoom source, which means it will change the size of the image based on the extent of the fix done by the alignment tool. I'm going to switch my viewing mode back to left and right. And there you have the aligned image 